first of all, do not feel condemned. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. You're already forgiven. Um, and in a sense, God wants you to be free from whatever is causing that depression, whether that's a chemical imbalance and there needs to be a readdressing of your chemical systems, whether that be a mental thing that is caused by guilt and shame. Often shame causes depression. So the, your past, uh, if you're talking about addiction, maybe you've not, you don't feel forgiven. Maybe that's contributing to the way you feel in the de depressed state because you're feeling condemned and guilty and shamed. In reality, any other addiction is, is just an outworking of lost identity. It is you seeking for something emotional that you're not getting um, and you're looking for it from the wrong source. God wants to meet all your needs. God wants to show you that you're loved unconditionally, that you're approved of, that he values you, that your, you, he, your esteem comes from him and not what you do fully understanding your identity is in him he has a vast sum of thoughts about you and they are all good just take a note of that right now all god's thoughts about you are good don't focus on the thoughts that you have about yourself which is probably coming out of the shame allow him in that relationship to to heal you to restore you to remove that shame that guilt that condemnation perfect love casts out fear God keeps no record of wrongs because love keeps no record of wrongs. God is not holding anything against you. Every accusation was nailed to the cross. Just receive the forgiveness that already is yours and live in the positive sense of forgiveness and righteousness. You have been made the righteousness of God in Christ. You may still be operating out of, out of a measure of lost identity, but you are righteous from God's perspective and the renewal of your mind will renew your mind to see yourself from God's perspective. You don't have to try and fix yourself. Just surrender. Surrender as a living sacrifice and let Jesus, your high priest, prepare you for an outworking of your destiny, preparing you to know who you truly are, preparing you to know that you're seated with Christ in heavenly places, preparing you to know the truth. It's the truth that you know that will set you free. But you need to know the truth, not as intellectual information or knowledge, but as experience. God wants to give you the experience of you receiving his unconditional love, being filled with joy and peace so that you can live love, love living and live loving. That is an expression of his kingdom. And he just wants us to enjoy our lives and have all our needs met in him. And then everything else in the world is just a bonus. We're not needing something to affirm my identity or make myself feel better because I'm sad. You know, it's like, let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Let him fill you. His joy is in you so your joy can be full. He gives you peace beyond human understanding and his love for you is unconditional. Allow him to love you. There's a, a little thing that we I've done called meditation for rest. And it's just starting your day by focusing on God's presence and allowing God's presence to fill you with love, joy, and peace. It's on the Engage in God program, but it's also on our website. I think you can, you can get it. It's, it's, it doesn't take long, but it's just a focus of you centering your thoughts, centering your mind on the truth and allowing God to, to bring that truth into your whole being um, and start your day off in the right way so that you, you're not focusing on the negative. You have been forgiven. You are righteous. That is the truth. Let that sink in and let that truth remove the depression and any addiction for anything outside of, of God's love. It's like you can be addicted to God's love, no problem. But anything else is a substitute for what God really wants to give you. Just surrender. Don't get condemned. This is a process. It may not happen overnight and it may not happen in an instant, but it's a process. When you're engaging God, don't have the agenda of what can you do for me? Just say, I just want time with you. I just want to be with you. And just let him set the agenda. Let him renew your mind. You can't renew your, your own mind. He will renew it as he reveals the truth to you. And that truth will set you free and begin to change how you think and how you feel and bring you the joy and peace and love that God so desires that you're filled with. So you can live in rest in a state of consciousness 
of being loved. That is the state I believe God wants for you. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.